What's up, y'all? Hoping you're all feeling okay. Hope you're all doing well. So, if you've been watching my videos, you would know that I'm a big fan of Xbox and a huge fan of Game Pass. It's easily the best deal in gaming. Nothing honestly comes close. It's just you're getting so many high quality games for such a low monthly cost. But a lot of people don't know that PlayStation has a similar service called PS Now. So, in today's video, I want to discuss whether or not I feel PS Now can compete with Game Pass. But before we dive into all of that, please do me this favor, like, subscribe, share the video, hit me up in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get started. So if you follow gaming news, pretty much anywhere you go, you're going to hear or read about Game Pass and how amazing it is and how much of a steal it is. And here and there, you'll hear about PS Now, which is PlayStation's version of Game Pass, but it's nowhere near as good. Even though they have more games, it's just the quality of it is, is not as good. And it's such a shame because there's so much potential with the PlayStation library. And I want to go over a few things on what I think Sony can do to improve PS Now. And I'm going to tell you straight away, I don't think they're going to be able to compete head to head with Game Pass. But I do feel that they can make this service better. And I wouldn't count Sony out just now. So the big thing that Game Pass has over PS Now is they get their first party games day one. Whereas Sony, you have to buy the games at full price. This generation, they raise the price of $70, which is insane. So on Game Pass, when a new Halo comes out, when a new Gears, when a new Forza, when Avowed, Elder Scrolls comes out, you don't have to shell out $70 for each game. All you need is the Game Pass subscription and you're good to go. So Sony has already expressed that that's not sustainable for them. So I don't feel they have the, well, based on that, comment from Jim Ryan, I don't feel they have the infrastructure to support day one releases for their first party games. But what I think they can do is they can offer like a some sort of discount for their first party games if you're subscribed to that service or add them onto the service sooner rather than later, not like a year after the game comes out. Maybe I would say leave the game on retail for about two months and then two months later have it hit the service. That way, you know, it's not day and date, but it still gives the subscribers of PS Now something to look forward to. And it also leaves that two month window for the, for people to buy it. Another amazing thing about Game Pass is, well, Xbox in general is all the backward compatibility. You can play OG Xbox games, 360 games, Xbox One. They have like a wide variety of games to play throughout all of their generations. And Sony has pretty much given a backhand to backwards compatibility. They they support like PS4 games on PS5 and they have completely disregarded PS1, PS2, PS3 games. And they actually just closed some of their older stores. I believe the PS3 and the PS Vita, which is such a shame, but I'm hoping that this is a sign of something better. And I want them to add this to the service. I want them to add their older, you know, generation titles to the service. That alone will boost the perception of this service and it'll be awesome that you can be subscribed to ps now and like i said you don't have to get games for big first party ps5 games day and date but you get them either at a discount or maybe like two months after they release but you get to play all these amazing like ps for me personally ps2 was playstation's best generation they had some bangers they had the ratchet and clank game jack and daxter they had metal gear solid they just had amazing games and they're completely locked out of the current consoles. And I don't know what's going on with Jim Ryan and how, why he feels so negative towards backward compatibility or older games. I don't understand that. I think having your older games is amazing. And I feel like Sony is really old school and they're just keeping it traditional where they need to expand. I know they make money, you know, just they keep re-releasing the same games like over and over and over again. like. The Last of Us, for instance, they PS3 game, then they remade it for on PS4, and now they're remaking it again for the PS5. And I know, like, it's sad, but their player base will keep buying that game over and over and over again. Similar, similar to Nintendo, they do the same exact thing. They keep re-releasing the same games over and over, but people still buy them. And I understand that, you know, make your money. But I feel like it'll be better for the consumer, for the gamer, and especially if you want to boost the service to just add your old library to 
the service. It'll be amazing. And honestly, I would even consider subscribing to PS Now if they added like PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 games to the service and to download, not to stream. Just completely kill the streaming thing because it sucks. It sucks so bad. One other thing I feel they can do to help, you know, boost the reputation of PS Now is, you know, merge it with PS Plus. Now, I'm not going to lie. PS Plus has gotten much, much better. They've been releasing good games monthly for PlayStation members, much better than what Xbox Live Gold has been um, providing these last few months. So if they were to just merge those two services into one at a good price, a, a competitive price, comparable, even cheap, I would say cheaper than Game Pass, not that, not that much cheaper, maybe like $2 cheaper, it'll be good. Okay, and those are just a few things I feel Sony can do to help boost the reputation and help drive up subscriptions for PS Now. And like I said, even when doing this, I don't feel like they can really compete head to head with Game Pass unless they put their big day one releases, I mean their big first party releases day one on the service and provide all those. They would have to provide pretty much everything that Xbox provides. Minus, they don't, I, don't, I feel like they don't need to do the like cloud Android gaming. I don't, they don't need to do that. But if they was to release all their big first party games, day one on the service, all the backlog of the PS1, 2, 3, and 4 games on there at a good price and just merge in the PS Plus subscription, I think they'll be okay. But on another note, I don't feel like they need to do any of this at all if they don't want to. Because, um, Knowing the Sony, well not all of the Sony, but mostly the Sony player base, they seem perfectly fine with paying $70 for each game. And, um, you know, like I said, Sony is more traditional. They're not really forward thinking. They're just thinking of now and they're not really, they look to the, they look, they're looking forward, but not too much. Whereas Xbox is already living in the future. They know like, it's, unfortunately the future is going to be all digital. And, you know, Sony is sticking to what works for them. And that's fine. If it works for them, stick to it. But, yeah, I feel like if they were to make these changes to PS Now, it'll be talked about more. And also, they just need to promote it more. But I honestly feel like they're not promoting it more now because it's not really that good of a service. They did add, what, well, Borderlands 3 and Avengers to the service. But it's just the PS4 versions. And Avengers is just a bad game. All right, yeah, so pretty much I'm going to wrap it up right there. I just wanted to go over a few things I feel Sony can do to help boost the reputation and the quality and subscriptions for PS Now. And like I said, towards the end of the video, if they want to, they don't have to do any of this stuff because they have a big enough player base right now to where like whatever they put out, whatever they do, they're going to have a lot of gamers on their console. But there is a shift in perception, I would say. More and more people are going to xbox than sony and i might do a separate video on why but um for now let's leave it there i really hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comment section below do you think ps now can compete with game pass or do you think they even have to at all please let me know down below please like subscribe share i'll catch you guys later bye